guys. Um, so I just went to work and then I popped to Tesco afterwards. So I'm literally just back from Tesco's. And I thought while I'm here, I might as well just show you what I got. So if you ever see a Tesco haul, it's probably going to be a combination of vegan food that I've picked up, new stuff I've found, stuff I'm going to try, and some non-food items which are a bit more fun generally. Um, so yeah, I thought this was just an interesting video to do. So let's just go through what I got. Um, so the first stuff I got was the Plant Chef stuff. So this is the new like vegan sort of own brand, Tesco own brand vegan range. So I got the barbecue um, Jack Bake, which is pretty tasty. It has like potatoes and like chunks of jackfruit in it. Some people don't like this because the barbecue sauce is a bit rich, but for me, you just stick it in the oven for a bit and it's a pretty nice meal. Um, I will tell you the prices of everything. This was, I think £2.50, I wanna say. Um, next up I got some of the Plant Chef mashed potato, I've had this before as well, this is really nice. Um, not as creamy as normal mash, and it has a slight oaty taste because of the like oat milk I think they use in it. Um, yeah, they use like an oat milk alternative, but honestly it's a really nice mash, and for vegan I'm happy with that. Um, that is, I think it was £1.30 for the mash. Um, I also got some Plant Chef breaded goujons. So they have some fried ones of these, which are like bigger sort of fillets, I suppose. And these are the mini ones. Um, so these were two pounds, which I think is pretty good. I'll get at least a couple of meals out of that. I think you get like six in there. Um, so these I think would just be nice, you know, just breaded to have with like some mayonnaise, like vegan mayo and like some salad, stuff like that. Maybe in like a roll or in a wrap or something would be nice. So I got those. Um, I was looking for the Richmond sausages. So Richmond vegan sausages, everybody's going crazy over them in the vegan community right now i follow a lot of vegan pages a lot of vegan people on instagram everybody loves the richmonds so you get eight in a pack they're like one pound 70 but they're always sold out lately so i find my tesco has really good stuff but a lot of it's getting sold out so quickly which is amazing because of the demand but then i'm like i want some too and probably because i'm going later in the day it's probably all sold out by the time i go so i should probably go a bit earlier to get some but anyway um i have tried them before they're really good so i couldn't get those but i got these ones instead and these are naked glory sausages so you get six of these and these are a bit more expensive these are i think these were two pound so you get less and they're a bit more expensive but it's still pretty cheap like two pound i'll probably get two meals out of that i'll have three sausages at a time um and yeah i've read some reviews while i was actually in the shop i thought i'd just check up the reviews quickly and they all have like five star reviews on the tesco site so hopefully these will be tasty um i might do a taste test on these potentially i have been doing taste tests so go check those out if you want to see me trying some different vegan food um these look quite nice as well it looks like they've got sort of like peppery bits and stuff in them so Hopefully they'll be pretty nice. When do these have to be used by the 18th? That's good, I've got six days to eat them. That should be fine. <laughs> to go with those, I got some wholemeal baps. So I like to just get these. I try and stick to brown bread. Baps obviously aren't the healthiest, but brown bread and stuff like that is still better than white. Um, so wholemeal baps, these are nice and big as you can see. I'll put them down because they're crinkly as hell. Um, but yeah, I like having those, like slicing and open and having like a, I'll cut the sausages in half and have like a sausage bat. That has been my thing lately. Um, and I also saw this. I hadn't seen this before. So it's, I've got a few new things here that I'm going to try. Um, so like the gouge on the sausages. Oh, the bats, by the way, were, uh, how much were they? 70 pence. So nice and cheap for four bats. And you can I'll use the rest for sandwiches and stuff. I've got a Wool's Jumbo Roll, so I'm really excited to try this. Vegan sausage rolls are really popular. I think Greg's kind of started the whole trend. Um, but yeah, there's a Wool's one, so I'm really excited to try this. Um, I don't know if you have to, if you can eat it from cold. Cammy enjoyed hot or cold, but for the best experience, heat in the oven. Would anybody like to see a taste test on this? I've never tried this before, so I could cook this in the oven one day before the 20th of November and do a taste test on it. I think it would be worthwhile. It's quite a big one as well. That's really nice actually. So love a sausage roll. Um, and then I got some like dessert things. I feel like I crave desserts quite a lot, um, but I don't want to have like loads of stuff. So I will just have like a little bit of ice cream or like a dessert pot. And I find these are quite good because they're kind of like portion controlled. So these I've not tried before either. So I got some of the Outpro dessert moments. Plant-based, thirty percent less sugars, almond vanilla. So it sounds just like little vanilla sort of mousse pots or like yogurt-style pots. And these were, I think these were only a pound. Yeah, so these were on offer. So that's pretty good, like fifty p for a little yogurt. 
And then they had some chocolate hazelnut ones, so I thought I'd get those as well. So they look pretty tasty, hopefully they're quite nice. Um, and then I got some strawberry cheesecakes, which is like the Tesco free from range. Um, so they are marked vegan, no milk, no eggs. To be honest, I'm not really a cheesecake person, but I just thought it would be different. They look quite nice with like the biscuity and stuff. So I'm excited to try those as well. I think those were £1.70, so they were a little bit pricier, but I just thought it was a treat. There's a couple of desserts there. Okay, and that was all the food stuff I got. So I would have got a few more things, but like I said, a lot of the vegan stuff is just sold out and I kind of just wanted to get some basic stuff and then I'll go back another day when I need to stock up. Because also all of the stuff I find has like shorter lives like shelf life so I don't want to buy too much and I can't eat it all because we all hate wasting food um so let's move on to the other stuff so I saw these and I absolutely had to buy them I'm obsessed with like these sort of cozy socks like little slippers like this so just the kind of soft slippers I love this design it's like a sort of galaxy rainbow unicorn they're just so cute um, and these were six pound so I got the bigger size because I've got it's like size seven big feet but yeah these look so cute i just had to buy these i love wearing this sort of stuff this time of year as well i can't just wear socks i have to wear like either like the really fuzzy socks or like these but these are so cute so i love them um and then i also got a couple of gift sets so if you watch my channel um if you've seen some other videos you might have heard me mention i do beauty bags and I like to like add a combination of like makeup stuff and beauty stuff. So I saw they had in Tesco's all half price like gift sets, obviously like in prep for Christmas. Um, but I'd like to just put these in my like beauty boxes as like extra little gifts and stuff. Um, so I got this one, which Cotswold. So I think the Cotswolds is like where I live. So I think this might be like exclusive maybe to this area. Yeah, I thought this looked quite good. So this was only five pound and you get some bath salts, you get like a cute little flannel, um, you get hand and body lotion, a foot scrub, luxury bath essence, I don't know what that is, maybe like a bubble bath, and a de-stress bath float. What's a bath float? I don't really know what they are, I assume you just sort of pour them in the bath and something happens, <laughs> maybe it makes bubbles, I don't really know, but I just thought that looked interesting and sort of I can put one in here and there um, into my like beauty boxes so I thought they were pretty fun so it's quite a big box I'll show you that and then I also got this Along Came Betty set so yeah if you need like gift sets or stuff for Christmas or you just want to treat yourself to some different stuff everything's half price like pretty much all of the gift sets are half price in Tesco's at the moment um so Along Came Betty I think this is kind of like a mock-off brand of like Soap and Glory it's like the Tesco version of it um, but I think the products are meant to be really good. So this was also £5. It comes with a cute little headband, which I think is really nice. Um, I know a lot of girls like to wear that like, when they're doing their makeup, so that would be good for someone. A cool um, bar fizzer and a lip shape. Body scrub, bubble bath, body lotion and bath salts. Oh, scented with roses, pink candy and strawberries. I'm not a fan of rose, but the pink candy and strawberry sounds nice. So yeah, I thought that was a cute little set as well. Is everything... Yeah, everything's sort of the same sort of strawberry candy rose scent. So that sounds really nice. So yeah, for £5, you're getting like, what's that, six items in each set. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And uh, I think then, yeah, it's so a half price. They're normally like £10 or more. So yeah, that was all that I got today. Um, hopefully this video was interesting somewhat. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to like taste test any of this stuff or anything like that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please give me a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all soon. Bye.